what is up guys this is dr harvest tech welcome back to the channel so today we'll be checking out the samsung galaxy tab x6 again and we will be doing some emulation gaming so you know the drill we're going to check out the tablet specs before we start and i'm going to show you what controllers i'm using all right so we have the samsung galaxy tab s6 over here it packs in with a snapdragon 855 7 nanometer soc the gpu is an adreno 640 and depending on which variant you get, there's a 6 to 8 gigs of LPDDR4X RAM. And it comes with a base storage of 128 or 256 gigs of storage. It's of course expandable with a micro SD. And the Super AMOLED screen is a 10.5 inch with a 82.5 screen to body ratio. And it comes with stereo speakers tuned by AKG. And for this one, we have the One UI 2.1 update, which is a Android 10. Lastly, we have a 7040 milliamp battery with 15 watts of fast charging. For today's emulation, I will still be using the 8-bit Dual S10 30 Pro with the PS4 DualShock controllers. So for today, it's the same thing as I've done on the S20. We're going to check out the Citra MMJ, the Dolphin Emulator, Daemon PS2, PPSSPP, and Ray Dream. I will be showing you guys the resolution I'm using, the FPS, and the speed of the games that I'm playing. So let's get into it. So for the first game here, we are going to play Pokemon X on the Citra MMJ. And just like the S20, it's only running at 10 to 20 FPS. I did bump it up to 4 times the resolution, but it's still running at about 70, less than 70% of the speed. So probably this emulator is not yet optimized and we have to wait for future updates. Next up, we're going to check out some Daemon PS2 games. We're going to check out Kingdom Hearts 2. Here it's running very smooth at about full 60 FPS, 4 times the resolution, and 100 times the speed. Next game here, we have God of War 2, which I think is playing better than the S20 Plus. It is running at full speed, 4 times the resolution, and at full 60 FPS. Over here we have the PPSSPP and we're going to play Tekken 6. This one is also running very smooth at a full 60 FPS and 100 times the speed. I did bump it up to 4 times the resolution at 1080p and you can see the game runs very well. Next game, we have WWE SmackDown vs Raw 2011. It's also running at 4 times the resolution at 1080p, full 60 FPS, and full times the speed. You don't have to change too much of settings when it comes to the PPSSPP, it is one of the best emulators out there. And lastly over here we have God of War Chainsaw Limbus and this game is running better than it was on the S20 Plus. Here it's running at a nice 50 to 60 FPS, 4 times the resolution and almost 100 times the speed. Here we have the Raid Dream to play those Dreamcast games. And we are playing Z at All Alive. Uh, this game is running pretty well. Full time speed, full 60 FPS, no problems right here. And lastly, the last emulator we're going to use here is the Dolphin emulator. 
And we're gonna check out the GameCube games here first. This one is a bit tricky when it comes to settings. You have to change the clock emulation speed, that's what I know. And there are other settings you can change to make the gaming experience a bit better. But for this game, Ultimate Spider-Man, I had to change the emulator clock speed to 40%. And it gives me a better gaming experience compared to the S20+. Plus. It's a bit smoother and it doesn't start out as much. But it only runs between 20 to 30 FPS and it's about less than 100% of the speed. Going on to my next game, which is Need for Speed. This one, the emulation clock speed is at 100%. And the game runs very well, full 60 FPS and almost 100 times the speed. Both games were running at one times the resolution. And lastly over here, we have Ultimate Smash Bros. Brawl. The game is running pretty well as it would. 60 fps, 100 times the speed and not much problem. The only thing that you will find difficult when it comes to Wii games is the control setup because there are too many configurations to go so you have to see online which button suits for which game. So overall I think the Type S6 performs very well when it comes to gaming on these emulators. For most of these games, it's able to perform at 60 FPS, full times the speed, and if you want to bump it up to 1080p, you can do on most of these games. You can bring this around and play with your games. So that is it from me today. This is Dr. Hummus Tech. If you enjoyed this video, do click the like button, and for more videos like this in the future, do click the subscribe button down below. So that is all. Take care, stay safe, and wash your hands.